Hey peeps, we are the Mental Health Movie Makers, I am Moobit, and it is the Star Wars The Acolyte, uh, it's the new Disney Plus series, uh, the trailer's just dropped, I'm going to check it out live and, and raw, and then give you my thoughts at the end, so let's go! Okay. Hey, younglings, okay. Dude on the left's cool. Oh, here we go. Younglings. Nice colours. Okay. Droids. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So is this set? Oh. Assassin? Hadouken! Ooh. Someone is killing Jedi. A lot of people killing Jedi. Ooh, Wookiees! What happened? I sensed the darkness. Ooh. Oh, a bit of crouching tiger hidden dragon action. Nice. So this is clearly set before the prequels, right? Okay. Nice cinematography. Good. This is about power. Ooh. Is to use it. What is that? Oh! There comes the red saber. Ooh! June the fourth, let's go. Okay. Okay. I like a bit of Sif action. Okay, we like a bit of Sif action. Uh, <laughs> I I'm more of a Star Trek guy normally, but I do I've been watching the Star Wars, um, you know, Disney Plus stuff, and I've enjoyed it for the most part. Not some of the fans don't like it as much, but you know, as a casual fan, you know, um, it's fun, and I, I do like the Sif. You know, I'm I'm into the the dark side people more than the light side people, so concentrating on that, pretty cool. Um, clearly set before. Uh, you know, the prequels. Because otherwise all the Jedi would be dead for a start. But yeah, so I'm guessing it's, it's like what they call the Knights of the Old Republic kind of era. Maybe it's maybe it's somewhere in between that. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not massively into the timeline stuff. I know it, it's a good few years before the prequels, surely. I think that'd be quite good. I'm going to do a quick, quick deep dive on some of these things now. But if that's your, you want to see the, you know, an average nerd who's... Not a massive Star Wars fan, but enjoys it. Thumbs up. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let's go into the deep, deep dark dive stuff, shall we? So, we're obviously, opening on the uh, Jedi Temple here, and your your you man here on the on the left, kind of a cool design, little little kid. Your man, <laughs> little kid, looks pretty good. Some kind of um, lesson going on in the Jedi Temple. Lots of younglings around. At least they could have their lines on like that, Master Skywalker. What are we going to do, kid? They seem to, you know, be a bit more natural, so that's good. Uh, I like this. That archway looks a bit like, um, where did, I know, in, don't, don't say, say the sequels to the plans, but I'm sure there was an archway like that, um, in, uh, is it Batu where she grew up, or Baku where, where Ray grew up, I'm pretty sure. So maybe that's just a, you know, piece of scenery with the headliner and they've repainted it, you know, which, you know, why not? Uh, clearly made on a volume because I mean that must that looks like all video screens wrapping around but hey you know if it keeps the budget down and you can still get this kind of sci-fi thing fine purple cloak can you see that there you go purple cloak for the win everything purple um, I'd love to see if to have a purple lightsaber really but we can't ask some Jackson done that um, lots of you know generic uh, spacey people <laughs> In the background, I like it. You know, nice, uh, nice to be back on the Coruscant. There, you go in the background. It's clearly, a, you know, again set on a volume. But you know, if they built all these sets, it just, just none of this stuff would get made. Plenty of your younglings. Looks like someone's going into. Uh, We've got some like rubber aliens, which is, I think, 
I don't know about you, but do you prefer the rubber aliens or like the CGI stuff? I prefer the rubber stuff and like CGI, oh well, you can't see there, but CGI bots because um, this guy's floating around. I kind of like, I prefer that. I think that this makes them feel a bit more grounded and in there, you know? So maybe she's a Jedi looking for this acolyte and then I guess that's our acolyte there. I'm getting lots of sort of uh, like late 90s, early noughties kung fu vibes from this. A bit crouching tiger, hidden dragon, bit of hero, bit of the, of the color with the colors and everything. Um, there we go. There, there's our woman there. Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm loving the lighting here as a, as a cinematographer. I love this when they shine lights through and you get like the you know the the blinds coming through with a bit. It picks up with a bit of dust. Love all that stuff. So it looks like she likes to use knives. Awesome, and against some Jedi mofos, there's a guy with a yellow lightsaber here. Look at that, eee. oh, you can probably see better that side, but yeah, I've got got some yellow lightsaber action. So is he? I think those guys normally are like guardians of the temple and stuff, aren't they? So, all right, you know, yep, there he is. You don't see many yellow things anyway, but then if it's High Republic era, I don't know much about the the um, sort of expanded universe of that. Um, I know it's set thousands, of, that would be thousands of years before, you know, Anakin Skywalker and all that lot. So maybe it's that era. Um, I've literally stayed spoiler free on purpose, you know, because I don't, don't want to do it. Good to see some Wookiee action. Look at him. Badass. Love me a Wookiee. Yeah, so you've got like a lot of, so it looks like he's doing a Jedi mind trick here. You know, oh, these are not the droids. Yeah, hang on. Can you see behind my big fat table there? These are not the droids you're looking for. So, you know. Got some uh, old school Jedi kind of mind tricks going on. We've got our spaceships in there. I, I, I mainly watch Star Wars with the space battles, to be honest. I'm hoping there's a few in this. But then it looks like a bit of some, a bit of kung fu where they're like, oh, you see behind my head, they're floating through the air and things. Obviously, I can't show the whole thing because you know copyright and things. But it, um, it's look. I know I've already seen people going, eh, don't know about this, but it looks all right. Especially if they go down the sort of like a bit of Eastern influence and, you know, a bit of more like hand-to-hand -hand combat rather than just lightsabers all the time. That could be quite interesting, I think. That is a beautiful shot. With the uh, with the trees on fire behind. That's gorgeous. Ice planet, could it be half? Probably not, but hey. Spaceships crashing. Huzzah. I'm down for that. Looks like this is just after because they're covered in snow here. So it looks like the Jedi come to investigate what's going on. And uh, there's your thumb now. <laughs> oh, she's wearing the, she was wearing the purple. Oh, yes. Bad guy wearing purple. Let's go. That looks like, if you've watched the sequels, The Last Jedi, um, uh, they I think it's Last Jedi they go to this. And they go to a dark side pool. And it looks a bit like that. Is it the same place, or is it just coincidence? Guess we'll find out. Oh, there we are. Here's our, here's our money shot. The red lightsaber coming through, cutting the trees, which as it should do, right? Very simple hilt design. Just just rounded and, you know, but... Ooh. There's another, <laughs> there's another um, thumbnail. Very si simple hilt design. And here we are. All, all of the, the, there we go. All of the lightsabers. Looks like some kind of big epic battle, but like someone's using like, is that just force push or is they using some kind of wind power? Kind of, you know, whirlwind power? Or is that just a big massive force push? And can we see who does it? Is it the Acolyte or is that, is that her master? I reckon that's her master, right? So wherever that is. Because that, if you look, well, you can't, I don't know if you can see between his legs. There's, there's the, that's probably the acolyte's lightsaber. So who's this guy in shadow? Interesting. And of course it's coming, June the fourth. If they got it out a month early, May the fourth, right? But hey, it'll do. But yeah, what do you think about the Star Wars the acolyte? I'm, you know what? I'm intrigued. I'll, I'll be, I'll. I'll be checking out the premiere on June the 4th. Let me know what you think in, in, in there below. What has been your favourite um, Disney Plus show so far? Uh, for me, I liked um, Ahsoka. I thought it was really fun. And then, obviously, um, Andor as well. Um, I thought that was just a nice, you know, a bit 
bit of different change of pace, but let me know, let us know in the com comments below. Are you going to see it? Are you not? Are you going to give it a pass? And until next time, I've been Moobit, you've been Awesome Sauce, and I'll see you at the next video. ta -ra. Hooray, it's the end of that video, so it's time to tempt you with more videos. Please help me, I'm mental and poor, and I need the AdSense. I like to move it, move it, move it.